Okay, so here we are testing out the bottles sent from China, Hey Rita. Now we've had some issues with these bottles and hopefully these new ones that you've sent are doing the trick. But we're about to test them right now and we're gonna see. So, as you see, you got your box here. This is the one that contains the bottles that you've sent us. And here we've got the caps with the insert caps. Now when I placed the order with you, I told you I did not want them inserted. There's a clear reason for that, and that's because we actually had the nicotine afterwards. So for you to send us a video saying that we're doing it incorrectly, when I specifically asked you for these not to be inside, is, is kind of an insult. And also an insult is the time that it's taken for the Steve and Get here. Now I spoke to you probably around December last year telling you you're already behind schedule and I come back from holiday I see you still haven't sent them all the issues haven't been resolved I would have expected this to all have been done but regardless of that I'm going to test your bottles and what comes off on this is depending on what we want to do next with you so here we go these are your bottles I'm going to test five of them in a row because I don't really trust the test that you sent us you know, you could have gone through 10 bottles before showing us the one that, that actually worked with the pressure test. So, one, two, I'll start with two. Now, I'm gonna rate these against the chubby gorillas that we normally use, <clears throat> mainly the ease of use. How easy these click in, you know, because if they click in really hard, there's no point for us to even have them because it damages the bottles. So we're gonna start with two. I'm going to fill them up, 120 mils of vegetable glycerin, now come closer, come closer, I'm going to see how easy it is because see the thing is, is that our workers are going to have to put these on and if they're completely difficult to screw in, it's not going to make sense to screw in hundreds. So here we go, first one. It's kind of hard to put on, but it went on. Second one. So, unscrewing. As you see, it's already caught on here. But that's fine, we got that off. So there's number one. Now the big issue we had with these bottles is that the caps just did not stay in. Painful to undo. Okay, so come on over here. I'm gonna do a squeeze test. Okay, over this. And we're gonna see if it stays in. Okay, and it come out straight away. Literally, we've been having this with customers the whole time. That's the first one. Second bottle, we're about to test. And it's happened again. I'm gonna test the rest of these bottles so you can see. Now, out of these three, if we don't get a single one, that means that 100% of the bottles you've sent us are faulty. So we're going to go for three this time, and hopefully one of them can handle the test. Using the method that you instructed us to do of screwing them in. ridiculous that this is probably the actually slowest this is probably the worst experience we've actually had with bottle designers huh? 10%. you know we've actually never had this issue before we've never had bottles take so long to manufacture that was hard to put on I'm not gonna kid you and so if you're expecting our workers to put these on like this it's a bit of a joke now just for comparison that one was easy so, one out of the four I've screwed on so far were easy to put on. And another difficult one, this one's not even really screwed in properly. So we've got these three here, I'm going to squeeze test them right now, and we're going to see. We'll start off, uh, I'll bring them all over here. Okay, bottle number one. That passed. The first bottle that passed. 
Photo number two. Fail. Bottle number three. Fail. So out of the five bottles that I've just tested, only one has passed, which means that there's an 80% failure rate in the product that you've sent out to us. Thanks for that. You can stop the recording.